Hello there. Welcome to the news in brief on paper about television. My name is Omo Ikayo. Here's the headlines. IGP moves against duplicate parallel investigations in standardized processes. Edo State Festival celebrates New Year babies with gifts. Edo pensioners protest non payments of gratuity over six years. Murder of Dr. Uyi Iluabe CP meets with ESCO of Delta Nigeria Medical Association. Agbaye for tax Nigerians to look on to God and top CBN officials some found dead after parents were murdered on New Year Day. Now the details. Though Nigerian Total General of Police, IGP Usman Akalibaba, has ordered a streamlining of all police investigative processes to prevent duplication via indiscriminate petitions and transfer of cases. The transfer of cases referred included the ones initiated by individuals and groups who have been inducted in initial investigation intended to frustrate diligent investigation processes and truncate criminal justice delivery, the report. According to a statement released by the first headquarters police public relations officer, CSP Olumuyewa Adejobi, the Inspector General's decision is in a bid to strengthen the criminal justice system and to standardize investigation processes. The IGP gave the directives while reviewing and dealing with files and cases on response to complaints and indiscriminate transfer of cases from the zones and state commands. He stressed that the situation has often given rise to parallel investigations by multiple units leading to conflicting arrests of parties and different outcomes even when such matters have been conclusively investigated and charged to courts. The IGP therefore warned that transfers or taking over of cases from commands stroke formations to force headquarters must only be carried out upon approval of written petition to the IGP which will serve as authority for any such actions. Fave or Percy Idubo, Pape about television. Keeping with the tradition of celebrating New Year babies, Her Excellency Bessie Obasaki, first lady of Edo State, has presented cash and kind gifts, total number of 23 babies in Bini City. Fave or Percy Idubo reports that out of 23 babies, four were giving birth to on New Year Day, while others were giving birth to a few days before the reports. The first lady who was represented by the wife of the secretary to the state government, Mrs. Ejiro Oge, visited Central Hospital and Edo Specialist Hospital in Benin City. Mrs. Oge and her entourage handed over gifts to the mothers of the New Year babies, among whom Mrs. Esther Ehikiona, who was delivered of a baby girl at about 2.47 a.m. at Central Hospital, weighing 2.8 kg. Another baby arrived during the visit at the Central Hospital, sparking spontaneous celebrations by the visiting team. The mothers of the babies expressed gratitude to God and to the First Lady of Edo State for the gifts. Favor Percy Idubo reporting. Commercial activities and vehicular movements were disrupted for several hours in and around Obavoramia Square in Benin City, following a protest by pensioners in Edo State. They were Percy Dubois was there and completed the report. The pensioners under the ages of Association of Retired Civil Servants Welfare of Nigeria were protesting non-payments of gratuities by the Obasiki Late Administration since assumption of office in November 2016. Some of the pensioners who spoke accused Governor Gadwin Obasiki of not paying their gratuity as his predecessor did. They noted that governor is making empty promises and paying lip services to the payment of their gratuity voice. The protesters have said they will continue their protest until it yields a positive result. Favo Percy Idubo, paper about television. The Commissioner of Police, Dr. State CP Ari Mohammed has met with members of Nigeria Medical Association Delta State chapter over the death of Dr. Uji Iluabe, who was murdered in his hospital, Olivet Clinic, Ogareke in Ogara, Ito Batubo Government Area of Delta State. Favor Percy Dubo completes the story. 
Reports have it that on the said date, a female patient whose name and address could not be ascertained came to the hospital at about 7.40 p.m. pretending to have abdominal pains. It was gathered that while the doctor was attending to her, she made a phone call to suspects who she reportedly invited to pay her medical bills. However, moments later, who long stormed the hospital in a Toyota vehicle headed straight to the doctor's office and shot him twice on the chest, leading to his death. The commission of police extended his heartfelt condolences to the family of the disease, medical doctors, and members of Nigeria Medical Association. He used the medium to debunk the rumors making around that the family members of a supposedly dead patient were responsible for the murder of the doctor. He also called for the assistance of all and sundry in their efforts to leave the veils of the faces of the perpetrators. Favor Percy Idubo reporting. The founder and vision bearer of Family Intercessory Ministry invited his Margaret Agboinfo as heart on the need for Nigerians, especially Christians, to evoke the intervention of God in the affairs of Nigeria through the instrumentality of prayers. She made this call during her annual All Women Prayer Conference Mother Decree of Faith in Benin City. The report. Evangelist Margaret Agonifo noted that Nigerians could only look up to God to grant the desired change that Nigerians are seriously seeking. Mother's Decree of Fame is an annual prayer conference which brings together women across different denominations every second day of January to pray for the unity, prosperity, and total well-being of Nigeria in general and Edo State in particular. The high point of this year's prayer conference was the empowerment of some women who were giving materials and monetary gifts to assist in their chosen trade. Fave or Percy Idubo, Pape About Television. Local fishermen have reportedly found the body of Ore Oluwa Fatinoye from the Adigbe of an axis of Ogun River. Fave or Percy Idubo reports the story. A report says that local fishermen who found the cups of Oreo Lua drew the attention of the police to the scene. The police had previously disclosed that a suspect was arrested in connection with the killing of the Sibian official and his wife. Kainde and Bukola Fatinoye were killed on Sunday shortly after they returned from New Year's Eve church service. Oleo Rua was said to have been adopted along with the family's domestic staff until his remains we are found Tuesday morning. The Ogun State Police spokesman, Abimbola Oyeyemi, who confirmed the incident, said the body of Oreolua has been recovered. He said that investigations are ongoing and are sure that the police would brief the public when investigations are concluded. Favor or Percy Idubo reporting. And that ends today's news in brief of Beth about television. Thank you all for watching and listening. My name is Omar Bye for now.